up, Shredders? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to an SP Reviews, where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Hot Black titled Cryo Blitz. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves a track on Spotify. We're going to listen through it from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. It's really pretty with those ambient guitars off the bat, eh? I mean, it's just so charming with a really colorful guitar, especially in the introduction, the tight tones of the drums and the bass sticking together, the vocals nice and present in the mix with the filtered uh, backing parts as well. There's a lot to appreciate. Swim on, swim on and drown again. I don't want to be seen as anyone else. Except we are see-through. Except we are see-through. Swim on, swim on and drown again. I don't want to be seen as anyone else. Except we are see-through. Except when you see-through. That was interesting. I kind of lost track of the groove for a bit there. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. It could be kind of mysterious and something deliberately stylistic, you know? But we've come back to, to ground level with this. Okay, I appreciated the instrumental performance and the vocals and the production was tight. I just want to have a listen through that verse again to see if I can kind of get the whole context here because I feel like I allow myself to be overwhelmed by all the other really awesome elements in addition to the story, but I just, I just want to clarify that part and then uh, we'll do the conclusion. And welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track from Hot Black titled Cryo Blitz. Uh, what I think this track is about, this is a tricky one for me. Again, I needed to have that sort of secondary bit of confirmation there to really ascertain what was going on my best guess especially from what i got in that first verse moving forward onto that it's about someone who is maybe connected to someone else and they're in some sort of relationship of some kind and it's very controlling and they're struggling with it and maybe they just don't really know what to think anymore the mind is not their own friend it's just a really uncomfortable kind of crappy experience and the swim up, swim up thing and drown again i'm wondering if that's kind of talking about continuing to fight against the current and then getting swept back down and that's the struggle that you continue to have and we mentioned 4am as well so i'm wondering if we're also not kind of sleeping well and if this is keeping us up at night and if it's kind of messing with the head i'm not really sure how close i am to it those are what i got at least from an initial first impressions but just plus a double check there's probably there's obviously more nuance to it and i'm sure because i don't think i got all the words clearly i got most of them clear but not all of them so i assume that if i got all the words clearly and had a bit more time with it i'd probably be able to sort of like listen through and really get it so i mean obviously if you like the track you're more than welcome to go there spotify and, and have, have some listens to it on your own without me pausing it but what i want to give a shout out to is 
is the fact that the story is compelling nonetheless what I heard from it. It's an interesting take. It's not one I hear that often. And I think also the vocals themselves were done well. I, I know I just said I didn't get all the words through clearly, but most of them came through really well. I think part of it was simply because sometimes there were backing parts which were kind of reverb laden and filtered out in the sides. And so there was a lot to pay attention in, to within this track. And sometimes it was like, oh, I'm paying attention. Oh, I don't know if I caught that. So that's just simply more of a comment on the fact that they obviously put a lot of care and attention into this track. Like in the bridge part, I, it, it's not even like there was a lot happening in the bridge. There, it wasn't nearly as full on as the chorus parts. I think that's potentially why they put the vocals on the side for that part to kind of get your brain to go around the stereo field and stuff. But still, it was cool that we didn't just have the vocals in the center the entire time. We did have them on the sides. We had layers to it. There were depths and some overdubs as well. There were some interesting vocal melodies and I'm happy with the vocal technique on display. It wasn't a massively kind of technical operatic performance, but it worked well within like the kind of pop punk alt rock genre. It's, it's great. It's a great first impression of what they do. I think they've also released Turbulence. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the second track they've, they've released as an act. Um, and I think that they're, they're on, they've got something special going on here. It was great hidden chest voice. I think that as well, they sounded like they were calling out. It does remind me of a lot of the stuff I heard in the mid 2000s when I was a teenager growing up, a lot of the alt rock bands from that period. So I'm wondering if that, that is inspiration for this band. But uh, yeah, I think that because they're in that high range as a final comment, they did stand out amongst all the different colorful guitar elements along with the bass and drums and everything. So it was a smart choice to have your, vo your vocal lines there. And it sounded like they really cared about what they were singing about, so the performance seemed authentic. And in addition to that, the track itself at 2 minutes 44 as well within that 2 to 4 minute sweet spot that I like to talk about in these reviews. The reason that's important, and I say this every time, and I'm sure people who watch my reviews are probably sick of hearing me say it, but it's because people typically just do not have the attention spans that they used to have. So it's really important that we don't take the listener's attention for granted and that we make our tracks as short and sweet as we can, especially if they're first impressions, just so that they understand that we can deliver in that kind of time frame. And I think the really colorful guitar instrumental at the start with those different clean picked and arpeggiated layers there with the bass and drums coming in afterwards, it's just sensational. You know, we clearly understood how to play our different chord progressions and keep a bit of variety there. We had some interesting rhythmic grooves with the rhythm parts as well as per the hook, hook which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. But the star of the show for me instrumentally were those really pretty up mid to upper lead parts there that cascaded and they ascended really beautifully. It almost like you were swimming up, you know. It was wonderful and we showed a clear understanding of music theory and, and composition there. We not only obeyed the fundamentals, but we also knew how to add a bit of extra sort of pizzazz to it. And it was very pretty. And I think that the bass line underneath those guitar parts there accentuated that range really well. It was nice and resilient and strong within the lower depths and kept the groove going alongside the drum parts, which were adept and they had a great finesse to them. I was really satisfied with the way they played. They're very tight with the rhythm and grooves. There was dynamic range to the performance as well. It wasn't the same loudness all the time as per the rest of the elements within the mix. And ultimately, I think when you stack the vocals with the activity and different approaches they took with that, on top of the guitars, the bass and drums, you have wonderful niching within the frequency spectrum. And I, there was a lot of space for everything to move around and breathe, even when things were pressed dynamically in the mastering chain in the hook section. Now, predominantly, obviously this was in 4-4, I'll be honest with you, I kind of lost track of the time signature in the hook section. And I mean, I'm a drummer, so I really should know what the time signature is. But I lost track of where the, the accent of the groove was. Almost like it was deliberately meant to sort of be a little bit mysterious and get you lost within it. And if that was done on purpose, that was an absolute masterstroke considering the themes of the songs that we talked about in the lyrics. I'm really impressed by that. If that was not the intention, then that's another thing entirely, but I, it's not a criticism because it's okay to not have a dominant groove, especially when you're clearly so competent of being able to do that within the verse and, and bridge sections, etc. It's actually really intelligent if you've got, again, to have that kind of sense of loss of balance within that, if you are talking about that in the vocals, but also it just kind of separates it from a lot of the 
mono rhythmic there's just a lot of songs out there that stick with the chord note accents and it's kind of nice not to have that it shows a tightness and a chemistry within the band as well because pr I, I promise you if you are not tight as a band you won't be able to play stuff like this you'll fall apart it just will lack the uh magic that this performance had and it seems like a really tight live take in the studio so kudos to them the theme itself, how the music sounded, it did sound like someone who was trying to figure stuff out with the complexity of those harmonies there, the extensions on the sevenths, the loss of footing in the hook section. And I think it was more of a short insight into whatever, whoever they were speaking about, whether it was themselves or other people. I think that was beautiful. I think it was gorgeous. It was not. It wasn't too dire. There's could be a temptation, you know, to have things be really depressing and dire with themes like this of being controlled and not having, you know, control of your own mind and stuff like that. And it's already been done a million times, but they managed to attack in a way that I think was still emotionally appropriate, but palatable for people who don't want a really depressing time. So great job balancing it out them thematically with a musical accompaniment. And yeah, I don't think there was a note out of place. The studio recording, mixing and mastering was great. The vocals were nice and present. The guitars were nicely double tracked on the sides there with additional layers centered around maybe the 80% of the left and right. The bass nice and low and tight in the low end with the drums doing a little bit of side chain, but also just really tight and punchy so they kind of cut through the mix. But in that way, that was appropriate for what the kind of music that we were listening to. I think there was dynamic range to this. Things went the same loudness the entire time across the across the track. The there was clean transitions between the various sections there. Attention to detail with the different panning of the vocal parts as well. So there was a lot of effort put into getting that post production right in, in all areas. The effects chains, if we had them, were relatively minimalist and weren't there to improve the performance. It was more meant to color it and make it design it the way that we wanted to. So if there are any reverbs added or delays or whatever, it was just meant to give it a little bit of sparkle uh, that it might not have already had. And I think the dry mix would have been fine. But yeah, the leveling was good. No resonant frequencies in the frequency spectrum, so that was handled. And a nice one the stereo field. And then finally, it was nice and loud without pumping, so limiting compression was handled. The bus compression, should I say, was handled well. I mean, effectively, this is my review of this track from Hot to Black titled Cryoblitz, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show us some love by their various social medias and Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they need the help more than ever thought of crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out. <laughs>